The Bengals are having one of their worst seasons in a while. It started in the offseason when their starting quarterback Joe Burrow injured his calf. They weren't sure how much it would affect him or how long it would linger. It turned out to affect him right away. The Bengals started 1-3 during the first 4 games and you could just tell that Burrow wasn't himself. He had only thrown for 728 yards and 2 touchdowns during that time. That's only an average of 182 yards per game. He also wasn't able to move around and buy him time in the pocket. It seemed like it was going to be a long season for the team. Then in week 5, Burrow looked like himself again. The team went on to win 4 games in a row before losing a close one to the Texans. During the next 5 games after week 4, Burrow threw for 1,480 yards and 12 touchdowns. That's an average of 2 296 yards per game which is much better than how he was doing it in the beginning. Then against the Ravens, it took a turn for the worse. Burrow injured his throwing hand and is out for the rest of the season. That leaves Jake Browning the starter who has been on the practice squad since 2021. Now he does have help around him as the team has a lot of weapons. Jamar Chase is still one of the best receivers in the NFL, Tyler Boyd is one of the best slot receivers, and if T Higgins can stay healthy, he would complete one of the best receiving trios in the NFL. Running back Joe Mixon is also a great running back and will have to carry a bigger load to help keep some pressure off Browning. The offensive line has gotten better since the Super Bowl season but it still isn't considered a good old line. That would be their weak spot if not the tight end. Still, this team is very talented without Joe Burrow and as long as Browning just plays game manager, they might still win games. The defense is great at the defensive line but not that good in the secondary. With Trey Hendrickson and Sam Hubbard on the edge, they're able to generate a lot of pressure. DJ Reader and BJ Hill also create pressure in the middle and stop the run well. Linebackers Logan Wilson and Jermaine Pratt are good at both stopping the run and in pass coverage. The secondary has no stars now that both of their star safeties left in free agency during the offseason. Still, they can have good day in some games but cannot be relied on consistent bases. But it's going to be a lot of work to win games from here without Burrow. But as the head coach, Zach Taylor still has to rally the team together and do what they can. Injuries is no excuse, especially when a lot of teams are missing their starting QBs. The Jets lost Aaron Rodgers, the Browns lost Deshaun Watson and his backup, the Vikings lost Kirk Cousins, and the Giants lost Daniel Jones and his backup. Yet they're all still doing everything they can to win some games. It's not going to be easy as they have the Jaguars, Steelers, Chiefs and Browns left on the schedule. Their easy games are against the Colts and the Vikings but even those could be some difficult games. However now it might be time to start looking forward to next season already. Joe Burrow should be good to go by training camp next offseason. The issue is which players will they be able to keep now that they are paying Burrow his new contract. Both receivers Boyd and Higgins will be free agents. Their defensive tackle, starting corner and right tackle will also be free agents. That's a lot of players to bring back and the Bengals won't be able to sign all of them. Luckily for the Bengals, they'll have the most 6 cap space with a little over 70 million to spend. They should be able to work some magic with that and get this team back to fighting for a Super Bowl. My neighbors in my arms Bitch, we some stars Pull up in foreign cars